Since its debut seven years ago, the current Ford Mustang has appealed to pony car enthusiasts, muscle car fans, and consumers that value track bread capability. But now it's time for something new. And that's where this, the 2024 Ford Mustang comes in. It takes all of its predecessor strengths and addresses some of its weaknesses to make Ford's iconic coupe better than ever. Before we dive into the 2024 Mustang, be sure to like, follow, share, subscribe, do all of the things at the handle MotorOne.com on all of your favorite social media for much, much more car content. And be sure to go to MotorOne.com to read more on the 2024 Ford Mustang. Now, I'm gonna let you all make up your own mind about how the new Mustang looks. But I'll tell you this, the Mustang has much more presence in person, especially here at the back where you see the strongest evolution from the previous car. But beyond that, Ford is placing an increased emphasis on customizability. Yes, there are a bunch of different exciting paint options, but there are also 12 new wheel designs, multiple caliper colors, and different badges. You have this GT Performance badge here, but there's also bronze and just straight black. The idea is to make the Mustang your own, and more than ever, the 2024 does that. Now, I know there aren't crazy changes to the exterior, but Ford reserved some of them for the cabin. And yes, I'm talking about the slab style display. Ford has gotten on the slab train. This is a 12.4 inch digital instrument cluster and a 13.2 inch touchscreen running Sync 4 and powered by the Unreal Gaming Engine. It is BEA beautiful, to use a bad movie reference. Beyond that, there are a lot of other changes. Ford has taken a close look at materials. There's different grains on the plastics and the leathers. And there's this awesome flat bottom steering wheel that has these nice sizable grips. The shifter is mostly the same, which no problem there. But what you might notice is that the traditional double bubble dash is gone. And that's because of this display. Now that's definitely disappointing, but there are nice other little touches like this Mustang badge right here. And the overall shape of this piano black piece kind of harkens back to the double bubble. But overall, this is a much nicer cabin than before. The interior quality is, is way, way up, even on this prototype car. And the tech story is something that is going to make a lot of conversation. Ford will continue to offer a turbocharged 2.3 liter four cylinder as a base engine and a five liter V8 as an option, but these aren't merely carryovers. The 5.0 is a member of the fourth generation Coyote family and now has dual intake boxes and throttle bodies, while the Blue Oval claims the 2.3 liter is all new. Considering the on-sale date is over nine months away, Ford isn't releasing stats, so we don't know how much horsepower, torque, or what kind of fuel economy these engines have. But reps have told me that this will be the most powerful Mustang GT yet. Now, here's the bad news. The manual transmission is going away for the EcoBoost model. According to Ford, around 90% of the turbocharged cars that leave the factory carry the 10-speed automatic, and that number is trending up. A six-speed stick will remain available on the GT though, where it already appears on over 40% of V8 models. It will also offer the 10-speed automatic as an option. Beyond the powertrain, Ford is adding new equipment to appeal to enthusiasts. A remote rev function allows owners to let their engines roar with a press of a key fob, while known Mustang fan and Driftmaster Vaughn Gittin Jr. contributed his expertise to develop the electronic drift brake, a handbrake that helps you, well, drift. And of course, the popular performance pack lives on regardless of powertrain. It includes a strut tower brace, a torsion limited slip differential, larger Brembo brakes on both axles, and wider tires. Pony up more cash and you can add the optional magnet ride dampers, Recaro seats, and an active exhaust system. The 2024 Mustang's familiar powertrains and lightly revised styling rely much broader philosophical changes. An emphasis on technology, customization, and even drifting show that Ford is ready to evolve its pony car in what will likely be the last hurrah as a purely gas-powered vehicle. We'll have much, much more on this vehicle in the next nine months because, as I mentioned, it's not going to be on our roads until June of 2023. So for much more, check out MotorOne.com.